What's up YouTube? It's your boy John from Project Ellsworth and I am back with you today to do another unboxing video. This week I'm unboxing Leatherface from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 1974. Let's get this dude off the shelf. Alright Junior. Let's get you out of this box. <laughs> As always, I hope everybody out there is doing well and staying safe. All right, here is the front of the NECA box. Each side is just the title of the film. Other side is the same. Top is the same as always. Back to the box. Got a couple of different heads here. There's a classic scene or classic image of Leatherface there. Yeah, he looks really cool. I've been pretty excited. It looks like he comes with quite a few weapons, too. I've been pretty excited about getting him out of this box. All right. There's the other head. So he comes with two heads. Looks like a meat cleaver, a kitchen knife, a crowbar, of course, a chainsaw, and a... I think that might be a meat tenderizer or a mallet of some, uh, some sort. All right, let's get him out of here. So the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, 1974. It is absolutely positively one of my favorite movies of all time love the texas chainsaw massacre i thought toby hooper did an amazing job in terrible conditions from what they say the uh it was so crazy hot out there that just dealing with the heat and dealing with the the smells that were the direct result of the heat like it, it was just not a pleasant situation to be in from what they say uh but they managed to pull off a pretty spectacular movie, even in the midst of that. All right, let me just make sure that he's not being held in by anything. Yep, there it is. That would have definitely made for a whole lot of noise if I didn't catch that. All right, let me get these things cut. All right, there he is. Looks really, really good. Yeah, Necker looks like they hit it out of the park again with this guy. He looks amazing. So, his wrists turn. Let's get a little bracelet on. He actually has on a little bit of a bracelet. All right, that's interesting. All right, elbows bend. Wrists turn, obviously the head turns, shoulders, let's see kind of range he's got in his knees. Remember, he walks kind of goofy in the movie, so his knees bend kind of goofy. It's almost like he's bow-legged. I have a feeling I'm going to be using one of my NECA stands to keep him standing upright. All right, let's get the accessories out of the box. Unpacked, I should say. First, we'll get this other head out. I hate it when they cover everything in tape. I mean, I understand them being trying to keep everything secure in there, but sometimes they go a little overboard with this tape. There's the other head. Pretty gnarly looking. You can see the stitching there. Pretty cool. Got there. There's a kitchen knife. Yeah, I don't mind the tape, I guess, to a certain extent, but when you're trying to shoot a video such as this, and you're trying to look at the camera and look at the, uh, actually watch what you're doing at the same time, there's always that chance that you're going to wind up slicing yourself open with this thing <laughs> while you're trying to get the, uh, the accessories out. 
clearly I'm, I haven't cut myself yet, but I know that I've come close a couple times. So right now I'm just trying to get all these things out of this package to get rid of the noise, and then I'll show you everything individually. It's a lot of cool stuff in this one, especially this chainsaw. I can tell already that the detail on this chainsaw is probably crazy. All right, everything is out. Let me show you what's in there. All right, the chainsaw is what I have in my hand, so we'll go with that first. And the detail is just crazy. Look at how awesome that is. The blood staining on the chainsaw itself, the, on the blade and on the, on the motor is awesome. Really, really cool. It looks like they put just as much time into the chainsaw itself as they did Leatherface, which is really, really good. It's nice that they did that. You know, it, it is called the Chainsaw Massacre. Alright, so there's the chainsaw. Alright, that is a little mini sledge. I believe this is what he killed his first victim with in the 1974 film. Pretty positive it was a uh, sledgehammer. When the dude's, uh, op when he slides the door open after he enters the uh, Sawyer house. And then there is the little meat cleaver. Also very cool. Looks like it's got a wooden handle on it, which is a nice touch. That's awesome. And there's a little knife in there. Almost looks like it's some sort of a, like a paring knife almost, but I'm not sure what exactly this thing in my hands is what I'm holding. Well, I don't know what that is. I actually went to culinary school and I certainly don't know what kind of a knife has that sticking out of the handle or if that was just a mistake in manufacturing. I do not know. All right. And lastly is a meat hook. It's not a crowbar. It's a meat hook. If you remember that he hung that one girl on the meat hook in his house. All right. So that's everything. That's Leatherface from 1974's The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. That tie's going to drive me crazy sticking out like that. All right, let me get him set up and let's get another, uh, another look at him. Really, really cool. folks that's going to do it for this week's unboxing video there is 1974's Leatherface he's once again the, the detailing on him from NECA is amazing he looks fantastic these guys never miss a beat they never disappoint and he's just another example of the job that that company does when they create these uh, horror figures all right I'm gonna get out of here if you guys like this video please give me a thumbs up if you really like this video and you've been enjoying my content up to this point, please do me a huge favor, click that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. 
Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Have a kick-ass day. And thank you for watching. Later, folks. Say goodbye, Leatherface.